the consultancy and training on analytics and what I'm going to talk about today is trying to change your opinion on G4. <laughs> um, so I've been working in analytics for about seven-ish years now and I specialise in analytics implementation strategy. So this is kind of what we're going to talk about today. So we're going to think about uh, where are you now? I want you to think about uh, your position in your migration with G4. Um, I'm going to talk about the steps to do before you even think about migrating, why you should do this and the benefits, and the opportunities with GA4. So, where are you now? Um, can I get a show of hands of who's tried GA4? Keep your hand up if you hate it. Um, anyone like gardening? You're in for a bit of a wild ride, folks. <laughs> so I want you to think about your analytics a bit like a garden. So this doesn't look too nice, it's patchy, a bit gross, doesn't look like anywhere you probably want to spend your time in. So treat your implementation a bit like a garden. Um, you want it to be cared for, maintained, well considered and planned out. Don't think that just by putting the tag on the site, then that's it, job done. This is all you're going to get. This isn't going to bring you any value, and uh, as Nick said earlier, um, without measurement, well, it's kind of pointless really, isn't it? So, um, just don't put down the tag and think, that's it, job done. You need to make it work for you. So think about this. Think about tidy, well-maintained, beautiful, you probably want to spend some time in there, um, brings you some value. I want you to think about your analytics implementation a bit more like this. This is where we want to get to. You could even go as far as thinking about it as a big beautiful ecosystem that you can integrate with other platforms and provide loads of insight and value, which will then enable you to later on do lots of really great optimization. So what I'm going to take you through now is my step-by-step -step approach that I take before any migration that I've done. Um, I've done a fair few now, um, probably got a lot to come as well. Um, we're going to do this with a bit of a uh, user-first approach. And this is what it looks like. It's really simple, um, but it's incredibly important. As I say, I've seen a lot of implementation so far where they just dump the tag on the site and think, that's it, job done. Well, that's probably why people hate it, because that's not going to give you what you need. Um, so you're going to start with an audit, you're going to gather the requirements, and then you're going to plan it out thoroughly. So more garden analogies. Start with the weeds, pull them out, have a look at what you're currently measuring, and I want you to think about asking yourselves these questions uh, in your current analytics implementation. What are you currently measuring? What is no longer serving you? Are you polluting your analytics with loads of pointless data that you don't even use? Is it accurate? Can you actually rely on it? Can you reliably make decisions on that data that you've got? Can you use it to optimise your journeys? Is it purposeful? We've talked a lot about purpose today. Um, is it really worth tracking that one PDF download on that one blog post that was from like two years ago? Are you really going to think about that in your migration strategy? Are you going to take purpose in what actually needs to be measured? And is it being used? Then visualise it. So let's map out the business objectives and how they align with the user journey. How will you measure them? And what are those key events within that user journey that are really important that you need to measure? And what, how are you going to optimise them? Who are the users of the data? Um, to what level do they need the grant and how granular does it need to be from top to bottom level? Um, what reporting are you going to be doing? Are you going to be using it with BigQuery? Um, how are you going to visualise it? Are you going to use it for A-B testing? I hope you are. And then finally, gather your tools and put that plan together. So, um, depending on how much you've looked into GA4, um, you can actually get a lot of uh, auto uh, events are collected um, in enhanced measurement. So, where I would go from here is building on, well, what are your objectives and what you need to measure, and what can you actually build from what's already there? 
can you align with the Google's recommended events? It will just make your life so much easier by following that recommended list um, on how you can make that work for you. And then finally, you need to talk with your developers and put those briefs together. How can you work well with them to make sure that you're getting the data that you need um, if you don't do the implementation yourself? Why? Why would you even bother? Well, let's go back to this. We don't want this. It's not serving you, it drives no purpose, and of course that means that you're gonna hate it. I want you to think about the bigger picture. How do you go from this, and then maybe, depending on how big your enterprise is, think about the big ecosystem in the end. You need this to be able to bring this powerful intelligence and tell stories and bring recommendations for optimization. You need that measurement there to really empower you to do your jobs well. And here are some of my predictions. I'm actually going to talk about this a little bit later on the panel. Um, but I think this is really important to consider that I feel like the industry is moving a different way when it comes to measurement now. And GA4 is a big driver of that. I think we're going to move to more user scoped metrics. I know that um, as marketers, we've all been driven about the sessions and what are we doing as part of that session and the conversion rate. I think we'll need to shift our focus to um, bringing value to the user and how do we uh, bring value to them beyond the session that we've driven. Um, and this is um, really important as part of the new data model for J4. It builds on users and events. We're not really focusing on sessions anymore. Um, so being considerate with your implementation, your approach and your, your strategy that will help you with those conversations with your clients and, and stakeholders internally. It means that attribution will become even more important than it is today, so it's already incredibly important. But as we're shifting to more towards about the value that we bring for the user, um, the attribution relies on um, accurate, accurate insight and making sure that data is uh, collected properly. So the opportunity here. So as I said before, um, you can actually um, do this fairly simply with GA4 now. So as part of the automatic events that are collected, I want you to think about them as a seed. We're still going with the garden analogies here, we're really clutching at the straws now. So think about those automatic events as the seed. How can you grow that measurement with purpose? And as I said before, I really think that you should consider the recommended events by Google and grow from that seed into a way that it works for you. It means that you're really thinking about um, how you're doing it and um, getting the value that you need. And the benefits. So um, there was a fair few hands up still saying that they hate it. I hope towards the end of this, and maybe you might go away and have a look at some of my recommendations here at the end. Um, and you can think about the benefits that you have here. So you can actually adapt the UI of GA4 to suit your needs. So again, um, I'm trying to change your perspective of just going on there and expecting it to just spit out at you and tell you all the answers that you need. Um, the power of GA4 is how bespoke it is and what you can do in the platform itself. And you can adapt the UI to suit your needs. And, um, and if you don't want to, well, you can use BigQuery instead. Um, the enhanced measurement provides a lot more accuracy now, um, so don't try and compare Universal and uh, GA4 uh, directly because it isn't going to match. Um, and you can create those events that I mentioned before um, straight out of the UI itself, so there's less that you need to do in tag management. Um, it's more accessible, um, accurate and purposeful data when you think about it this way. Um, instead of just, um, as I say, just dumping the tag on there. And you're getting the true value out of the new data model and thinking about, um, as I said, my previous predictions uh, that we'll be moving towards a more uh, user-focused measurement in the future. And of course, try not to waste any more time. The longer that you put this off, the less data that you have to compare to as well. Because, as I said, don't try and compare it to universal analytics data because it's not going to match. So this um, is the main points I want you to take away today. We're done with the garden analogies now. Um, 
audit your existing setup, ask yourselves those questions, pull out those weeds, still throw another one in there, um, think about what you actually need and what you don't need. Gather your requirements from everyone that's involved that's going to be using the data. Um, make sure that kind of you meet everyone's requirements and set their expectations early on of what they're going to get, what's it going to look like, how their reporting um, is going to be used. And map out the user journey. I love mapping out the user journey for migration so that you're making sure that you're, you're not just thinking about where the traffic is coming and the conversion at the end, you're thinking about what's happening in the middle as well and how that's really important on that user journey. Um, and um, as I said about the events, I think go away, have a look at what's recommended on there um, and what you automatically already get out of, uh, out of GA4 and how you can make it work for you. Um, and check the data retention setting. By default, it's set to two months on GA4. Um, if you've already got a property set up, when you get back later today or tomorrow, change that data retention setting to 14 months. And please, please, whatever you do, do not, do not, please turn this button on. Um, what that button does, it collects any events that you've got set up in Universal Analytics and sends it into GA4. Don't do it, it's wrong, it's messy. Just don't do it, please. Thank you, oh, we've got a dodger bird. Um, I just want to say thank you to these people. Um, that are consistently providing content and updates on GA4. It's changing um, very, very frequently. So um, I recommend you follow these people on Twitter. Um, thank you.